Hey, how you going? And welcome to the channel. My name's Pete. Um, this episode, uh, a little bit funny. Um, so, uh, I think last episode, when I was doing the break drums, I mentioned that uh, my brother didn't seem to think that my machining videos were as interesting as some of the other ones. And uh, thank you very much to you guys. You, you know, corrected me on that, uh, which was very nice. Um, but the irony is, this week I am doing a bit of machining for that same brother. <laughs> so, the irony is killing me. Anyway, what we're doing, um, he's got, uh, on his boat, um, he's got twin fuel tanks there that run his two outboards. Um, and where the filler is, it's a catamaran, uh, where the filler is for those is under his dining room table. He's got to lift the floorboards up to get in there and, and fill them. So that's kind of a dangerous, very uncomfortable thing to do whilst you're out at sea. Um, <clears throat> not, sh not sure if you've ever tried refueling a boat while you're out at, out at sea with everything rocking and moving. It's yeah, it's not it's not an easy thing. Um, and there's potential for fuel spills, which you know this is you know on his dining table. You don't want petrol vapors going through your through your kitchen basically um, so what we're doing is we're making an adapter which will go on top of the fuel tank so that he can put the filler remote mounted elsewhere somewhere else on the boat um, let me show you what we've got here and what the plan is okay so we're going to pretend that that there is the top of the fuel tank um, he has supplied us with uh, these components um, <clears throat> so the way this works you drill your hole in your tank and that you can sort of put through the hole feed it round and that then comes up under the bottom of the tank and you can then you put your gasket on top of the tank and that screws on probably goes that way to be honest that screws on and gives you a seal that you can then put a uh, filler or whatever it is you want on there so our plan is out of this piece of billet aluminium. Um, <clears throat> oh, the other challenging piece about this, we've got a maximum of 45 millimeter clearance there. Um, so, you know, makes for an interesting, interesting challenge. So the plan is uh, a bit of aluminium billet here. We'll cut that off at uh, 40 mil thereabouts. That should give us enough space. Um, I can then drill, use that as a template, drill the appropriate holes through at the right height um, and then I'll just bore a hole into the side and then down into the bottom and we can then screw in a barb into the side so uh, I think I had one here these are the two choices of taps that we have and I did have a barb, I've lost it can't imagine I'd lose anything and such a neat tidy setup but anyway that's uh, that's the plan the challenge is um, like the bigger the hole for filling the better that tap will go through without any issue whatsoever but that's that's half inch so that's a half inch hole is a like that's not half inch obviously it's a half inch uh, BSP tap um, gives you half inch internal pipe size this one is three quarter but it's very close to those those uh, holes there so by the time I tap that into the side of it <coughs> it may actually breach into one of these holes I'm not sure if that's a big issue because um, we probably should put nylon washers on the top of each screw anyway or something to seal them because um, fuel vapor at least can still come up through the thread anyway so probably not the end of the world but anyway, that's our mission.
a little too noisy up in the shed to uh, to do any talking so I've come back down to the house here so my plan here is I'm just going to set this on top here I'll clamp that in the vise clamp these together so that that's held solid uh, and I'll just get the hand drill and I'll just mark out each hole with the hand drill uh, and then I'll bring this down with the markings on there and that'll give me a pilot to drill all the way through. suggests that the surface is not flat. Yeah, okay. Uh, whoever did the drilling was pretty rough and he didn't take the burr off the edge there so I need to get that fixed. Okay, taking the burr off. That sits much better. Let's have another go. Yeah, that's good. pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, those holes all came through parallel, lined up perfectly on both. Yeah, anyway, they're good. Okay, so that's all the easy part done. Now I've got to try and bore a hole through the side of it somewhere, somehow to meet up with this one inside here. Okay, so we're up to doing the second side and we're doing a slightly different approach on this. Um, the biggest drill I had was the 16mm slot drill to go into that, um, which is no good for uh, what we want. Um, we did kind of decide to go to a 5 8 uh, BSP fitting. Um, so I went out and I bought a 5 8 tap and then found out that we can't get 5 8 fittings. So, uh, just making the decision, we're going back to the three quarter inch fitting. Uh, and we have at work, uh, this is a wonderful little radial arm drill that we just bought. It was a, I wouldn't say a complete wreck when we got it, but spent a few days on it and fixed it all up, got the whole thing running, and it actually works really well. Uh, and it came with this array of drill bits. Uh, they were in two buckets. Uh, I made all that racking whilst I was going. And in amongst all of that is the correct size drill bit that we need for that three quarter inch tap. Hence the reason why I've brought it into work to do. So all right, um, I'll set this up in the vise, line everything up, put the drill in, put a pilot drill through it, and then put the 24.5 millimeter drill through. And it's in the right spot.
so that drilled out quite nicely uh, went all the way in so that's nice and neat happy with that uh, my next step is to put a tap in it and I will do it whilst it's still in situ uh, I've got just a little slug this is high speed steel with a pin on it I'll put that in the uh, in the Jacobs chuck and that should locate on that hole and hold the tap square Take it out, have a look at that. I'll show you, but I'm going to go a bit deeper with that. So only about halfway down. I'll go a bit deeper. Look at that, eh? Everyone's kicked a goal. That'll be beautiful. Oops. Hope I'm showing that in the camera. And the important thing is we missed these two holes. So that is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. We've got a little bit of clearance down the bottom there. I'm going to mach machine a shoulder in here so that the screw heads are level with the top of that. Okay, so while I was at work and I just finished tapping these holes, um, I just gave it a wipe down and gave a, a big old spiel about how I'm happy with that. It didn't uh, penetrate either of the holes on the side there, so pretty happy with all that. And I gave this big old speech all about pretty much just that and then realized that my microphone was somewhere else. Anyway, um, you can kind of see what I mean there with the fittings as opposed to what we've ended up with. Um, didn't come exactly as I planned. I was gonna just countersink these holes, uh, but I think best way to do it is we've got enough room there. I can just machine a shoulder down on that. Um, yeah. I'll just machine a little shoulder off that um, enough that the head of those screws will not protrude. All right, finished. Let's, uh, both of them done, come up nice. I'm happy with the finish. I'm happy with it out, how it all turned out. These screw holes down through here didn't go anywhere near this thread. Well, maybe they're near it, but they certainly didn't go through into that thread. So kicking goals everywhere. I uh, just got to get longer screws to go all the way through it. Um, and that's it. Happy days. So there we go, that's it, that's all done, that's the, uh, well, to be honest, that's the video for this week. Um, I was really hoping that I would have these finished and have this all edited and uploaded by last Sunday night. Sorry about that, didn't happen. Um, but anyway, got there in the end, uh, that's all finished. I have sent a photo through to my brother, texted him a photo, and I haven't heard back from him yet. Uh, sometimes he can be so rude, but anyway. Um, 
yeah, I am very happy with how those turned out. Uh, we will see if we get his approval or not. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you next time. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, eh?